Most of my research these days, it's a wireless research centre and predominantly engineering activity that I'm working on what we call sports engineering. Sports engineering is uh, quite a new discipline. It's where we use uh, engineering skills to help service the sports industry. So this is helping uh, athletes and, and helping coaches through uh, new advances in technology. When we are trying to help an athlete, the way that we help an athlete is that we, we measure their performance and we might measure their performance uh, under a, a range of uh, activities, uh, their training activities, uh, their uh, competitive activities, and then we look at ways to improve that performance through those measurements. So using technology, we can measure things about an athlete that we haven't been able to measure before. Traditionally, we measure athletes in the laboratory where they, they might come to a sports institute uh, for uh, an intensive training camp, and they'll be put into the laboratory and, and do some tests. So when we have uh, wireless technology, we can take all of those tests that they've done in the lab and we can say, okay, let's apply that in their real training environment or let's apply that in their real competitive environment. Because people behave very differently uh, when they're in a lab to when they're in their natural environment. And of course on race day, the adrenaline is pumping and uh, the athlete performs very differently. That's the performance that we want to measure because that's when we're most interested in them performing well. We've started out uh, looking at sports where it's easy to attach um, electronic equipment to, to athletes. So this was something like uh, Olympic rowing where we have a nice boat there that we can put uh, all of our bulky equipment on. We then started to uh, refine that instrumentation and make that a lot smaller. And so today it's uh, wearable and we can put that on pretty much uh, any athlete and any activity. Some of the examples that we've had quite some good early success with is something like the sport of swimming, where the athlete wears this device on the uh, centre of their back while they're doing uh, swimming training. The measurements that you can get on swimmers you normally only see uh, in a high performance pool where we have underwater cameras to uh, measure their performance and a uh, sports scientist can there look at what they're doing. By wearing these devices uh, we can offer that uh, similar kinds of measurement uh, but in the pool that the athlete normally uses. So this is uh, of tremendous advantage in uh, states like Queensland where there are huge distances to get to uh, specialised facilities and we hope that we can provide uh, facility like service but in, in an athlete's hometown.